Well, this Chaos Alipet took the entirety of about three hours, four hours. <laughs> there we go. Pretty easy. Nice kill count as well. 555. Five, five. Yeah, definitely cool getting a late night boss pair. I should have already gone to bed a long time ago, but uh, yeah. I am irresponsible. So uh, yeah, <laughs> we'll take the boss pair though. Happy days. And if you're wondering about the rev drops that I got in this KC, I got a corrupt Zuriel's top. And just now I got some Morrigan's throwing axes. And that's it. So yeah, no stat hammer. Looking good there. There we got the uh the wines of Sara drop, which is of course every Iron Man's dream. So that is super super cool. Big fan of that. Okay, please no one die. For God's sake, no! We've had to go through P1 about ten times today. Yeah, guys, we have a, an absolute disaster hour. We've got, like, how many kills? Like, four kills so far, I think? The, the deaths on P1 is just one of those... One of those meme hours, I think it is right now. Alright, a few kills further in now. Nothing particularly great yet, but I saw, I saw just herbs today. Like, like, irits and uh, stone spirits and cadentines. A lot of, lot of that stuff. Like, I still find it so crazy how much uh, HP you can heal here with just uh, with this blood barrage. <laughs> Like, you heal so, so much. Just really helps you sustain through the scary storm. Yeah, I'm doing some elfing today. It's quite nice, actually, because, um... Well, <laughs> at least uh, doing it this way when I'm in meta. I don't use runes, which is lovely. I think we have one more kill after this. So, again, with the, the herbs, unfortunately. But, uh, surely, next kill we see some orange, right? And remember when cores were actually like an achievement if you one cycled it? <laughs> and like now it's just like a complete failure if you didn't. It's kind of funny how things change. Maybe it's just a painful phase. Probably oh, there's a bomb there. Oh, as if. Dude, I swear I ran away from that. That's so annoying. Oh, dude, I've lost so many buffs now. That is a disaster. And there we go, the final kill of the hour. It was uh, an interesting one, but uh, a successful one. And look at that, little uh, Crystal Triskelion for the final uh, thing. Would you get that? But I mean, I do have quite a few uh, Trisks in the bank already. But yeah, we're doing some uh, AOD, hoping for some cool stuff, of course. And uh, is that a Northwest part? Dude, someone must have signed. They must have signed. There's no way I got that. Uh, but yeah, hopefully a call. <clears throat> yeah, definitely a bit rusty though after a few days off of AOD, but on the whole, I think we're doing alright. Not too bad, and again, kills are nice and speedy as per. Oh, the Yak track from AOD though, let's go. That's gotta be a Yak sack if I've ever seen one. Probably not though, I've done so many of those sacks, I've got no capes. No, I didn't get my long swords. Oh, I was... Man, minus 700k. I didn't realize I had my staff on instead of my jewel build. Favorite part of uh, speedy AOD though. Like, <laughs> first you see the minions, and then they all just instantly vanish along with the boss's HP as well. Oh god, don't kill me. I'm alive. Oh, my offhand's this time. There we go. See? Got him back. <laughs> it's like a lost item claim, which uh, still uh, no response, by the way, on the arcane, just for anyone curious. Here we go again, though. Minions melting. Oh wow, that was a really quick face, actually. We dominated that one. Here we go, the final kill. Good luck. And no drops for anyone this time. Unless there's one more. Well, maybe there is, actually. We've got one minute on aura. We can be quick, I think. It's continuing to be a bit mean, taunting me. Best is plate skirt right there. Obviously not quite what we're after, but it's still cool to get a real item, I guess. So we started today with this Rev Enhancer at a thousand kills, and now we've done that, we've done 600 kills with it. And all we have to show for it is this lousy Vestas Blade Skit. Forever's in a way though, because if you just overpower that dragon, it'll, it'll always one-shot it, because you get the extra accuracy from uh, it being an ultimate. But the bad thing is, you sometimes don't get the spawns again. 
because basically on EOC you can actually kill these guys too quickly and <laughs> you end up having to wait a bit, uh, which can be a bit annoying, but if you want to just play active, this isn't too bad. Uh, it's just like permanent dragon scimitars today, it's kind of strange, I've had four. Four dragon simmies in the past not very long, <laughs> it's kind of weird. Or even like a Vesta's longsword, you know, like just something to... I got some thieving brawlers. Well, I mean, I guess that's cool, but these are so really rare. <laughs> so guys, that's that, like that, that right there is the strat. You essentially volunteer for double, hope it's stun pull first, then you don't have to double. Like it is the most genius raid strat of all time. Tragic. But there we go, we did it. We killed Yakamaru in a record time. And uh, hopefully, just like yesterday, we're going to get some uh, nice stuff from the raid. So last time we got a Helm and a Codex. Can we possibly beat that this time? I am not expecting it. Oh, another Codex. Okay, this is how last time started. And then Beastmaster. Boom. Oh. <laughs> that's a good day. So yeah, I've had three drops in two raids now. So yeah, I'd say that's a, a resounding success after the bad luck. With the... Uh, you know, like the, the the lock from raids. Like, is it really that bad if people can just farm Acto off, you know, or just whenever they want? Like, that would be such a nice update. In the day, uh, when Acto was, like, actually decent, but even then it was a bit annoying, but now there's literally no purpose for the raid lockout to exist, in my opinion, so I wouldn't mind, wouldn't mind seeing it changed. Okay. Vengeance. Oh yes, that's a P7. Look at that, just some Sammy 200s. Good stuff. Yeah, building up some bad luck mitigation. Also, you know, gathering blood runes always nice. But uh, yeah, I think that like Sammy, like the like the commas are just too good to give up, aren't they? They really are. Okay, Dragon Claw. Okay, Dragon Claw again. But I think I've got a bit of Dragon Claw addiction now. Like, ever since I've started using them at Solak and AOD, I just want to bring them everywhere. So I've brought them to Zami now as well. Oh, no! Oh, bull, I didn't vip part. Oh, guys, I trolled. I trolled. Well, at least I had to sign up. Otherwise, that would be a very expensive death. What? Wait. Oh, that really Oh, dear. I'm glad I had death deal, but like... <laughs> That really killed me? Show boss loot. I sacrificed myself. Was it worth it? Do 800 blood runes? Do I sacrifice myself again for that? Happy days. All right, <laughs> let's go again. So yeah, no green spark was GST. I got what, like one or two more kills on Aura, but either way, the blood runes, again, <laughs> you probably, guys are probably sick of me mentioning blood runes, but I like them so much. There we go, last Clavala. Nothing rare for anybody, unfortunately, but what it does do is it gets us back to having bad luck mitigation, which is always nice, which means next time we do this, rare drops are more common. So, guys, you're never going to believe this, but uh, your boy Wazzy Delicious, you see that in the bottom right of my inventory there, you know? Looks a bit hammer shaped, doesn't it? Yes, it does. And you want to know why it looks hammer shaped? It's because it's another freaking corrupt hammer. I'm so fed up with this. I've had three corrupt hammers in three days. Like, just get me the hell out. 33,000 kills. I saw my first hammer at like, what, 29,000, I think. I just want to be done, man. Like, just, I just need the hammer for best in slot. You know, like, is, is it too much to ask? Is it too much to ask? Apparently, yes. Apparently, yes, it is. So, uh, yeah. But, um, oh, then we get some more Morgans throwing axes. Interesting. That's my second drop. Uh, so I've had a hammer and I've had some axes. That is my, oh, sorry, third drop. Third drop today. Uh, no, fourth four drop today. Third drop this evening. Uh, in like, what, three hours, four hours, maybe even five hours, I don't know, time just ceases to exist at this point. I don't know what's going on. But yeah, the log is currently looking a little bit like this. So we still need the Vesta Sword actually as well. So yeah, I haven't even had a, a whisker of that. But yeah, Vesta Sword and a real hammer. And then I'm done. 
obviously we got the the chaos city pet last night which was kind of cool um yeah just like please just <laughs> one hammer please one hammer um but either way guys not really too much in this one. Oh, grats down on 120 thieving very nice um but yeah i think uh next time oh wait rax is one two again nice uh so yeah, next time we'll probably go for uh the web again for the drop block here that'd be nice uh probably a bit more solak and aod and zami just as per normal because we like all those things very big fan of solak right now as well finding it a lot of fun and you know as the added benefit of Grimma page stack going up which is quite nice so hopefully you guys don't mind the uh it generally see me videos as of late, but I, I'm having a lot of fun at Solak and AOD. And uh, yeah, who knows? Maybe there'll be more duo solo <laughs> for Argo shenanigans at some point. We'll have to see. Um, but I think it's now, is it Purple Bomb as of right now? Yeah, I feel like I'm not going to be able to duo solo that, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> but who knows? Who knows? But either way, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this one. And I will hopefully see you tomorrow with a stat hammer, but I don't think I will. <laughs>